what's going on guys it's me kenny cooper here for another video today guys i will show you how to edit and customize your own roster in 2k18 now first off what you want to do is go to uh uh option slash features then you want to go to roster creator and then create a roster then you you could select these rosters if you want to edit them it, that's if you want to but for this video i'm just going to use official 2k sports roster if it would load okay now from here uh i'm doing this on playstation so uh for xbox you can use the rt button and then you can edit the the minutes uh, the coaches or whatever you want and then l1 l2 and you could you could just like uh switch through rosters see the playbooks the staff whatever you want to do so from there you could also uh trade a player Let's say, uh, I want Alonzo Ball to be on the Knicks, because, uh, you, you know, I just, I like my Knicks. And, uh, to do the trade, uh, let's see someone with a big contract. Alright. Normally, this trade would never go down. But because I'm so awesome at this game, he's on the Knicks. Uh, you guys saw that. Uh, the trade with another team option is right there. You could assign them to another team. Let's say one to go uh Charlie Hornets. Okay. Uh then he will be here somewhere. Right there. He's gonna be right there. Also you could also release them. You could edit their stats. Yeah, you could edit their position. Yeah, you guys know that. Position attributes, you can make their contracts better, the badges, all that's good stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You can also delete all players from list, but there's something else I want to show. Find it. Yeah, you could also use the all-time teams. Now this is what really makes people love this. Uh, now with the all-time teams, uh, you could choose people from different eras to play. Now here, uh, for example, let's say uh, Brandon Jennings. Uh, I could release him into the free agency. I can make him a, a new free agent. Like for the free agents nowadays, like uh, I could assign him to another team. I could make him be traded. Like uh, let's say I want him to be on the Knicks. Okay, now we're at the Knicks, and then we'll trade Brandon Jennings with Tim Hardaway Jr. Brandon Jennings is there. Uh, Tim Hardaway will be on the all-time uh, Bucks now. And then what you could do now that you finish everything. You could save roster or save and share roster. I'm just going to save the roster. New file. What's going on, guys? Kind of fun video. And today, guys, I just got to say if... um. Uh, I'll answer all comments and questions you have about this in the comment section below. But first thing I got to say is... uh. If there are any problems that say like, oh, we need to delete this uh, because there are too many teams, um, I will show you a picture right here now that um, you just got to click on a player and it'll just like say, delete all players from this team. And you just got to keep on doing that until, uh, until it lets you fit all the teams into the roster. But until then, you just got to keep on deleting the teams. And then once you do that, you can go to my league and baseball for you. Then you have to like search up your own roster. I need my roster clickbait. So if I typed in clickbait in like a uh, custom roster or roster to download, uh, I would just uh, uh, type in clickbait and then it'll be there. Unfortunately, uh, mine's had like too many rosters and I was too lazy to delete them all. But yeah, hopefully this gives you a good like grasp on what you have to do. If there are any questions, let me know in the comments section below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.